Hey there, uh, my name is JJ Reynolds and today we are gonna go through some more data blending tips and tricks using filters. If you have not watched part one yet, head over back, link is in the description, um, and watch part one of this whole data blending series. Today we're gonna talk about filters, uh, how you can layer them together to have multiple behaviors uh, that you're gonna then blend together. Okay, um, let's hop right into it, but first, Make sure you download the good old cheat sheet, as well as lots of other free and fun uh, things over on datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube if you have not yet. Just want to let you know that is there for all of your learning needs. So let's just hop right into it, everybody. So here is our plan is we are going to have one data source that has multiple behaviors in it. We're going to use Google Analytics 4. And so here uh, we're going to talk about behavior one of being a scroll. So 10% scroll. Then we're going to have behavior two, which was going to be, for example, 25% scroll. Then behavior three being again, 50% scroll, et cetera, et cetera. And so the reason we're gonna blend is because we cannot use this as a specific dimension for some unique uh, charts. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to add filters to your blends to do something amazing. So let's just hop right into it. Boom, hopping right into it. Okay, so let me get my ugly mud mug here out of the way and let's have a chit chat. So. Here we go. Um, what we want to do is we want to take this. This is our overall uh, data studio or GA4, right? And what we want to do is we want to look at just for 10%. So if we wanted to, what we could do is we could just add a simple filter here. And we're going to say include where the scroll depth or percent scrolled, sorry. Percent scrolled. Sorry, let's do this is where event name equals scroll. And make sure you have your naming conventions. So here we're gonna do I event name equals scroll. So that's our filter um, that we're gonna add. So this should just give us all the event names, right, with scroll, percent scrolled. So now what we could do if we wanted to, we could just go over to our style tab, uh, add the actual percent scrolled as, a, or add the number right here and turn that into a bar chart. And now we've got a kind of funnel looking thing, right? We could have this, but that's boring, right? We don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to blend with filters to give yourself some more leg up. So what you can do is what we're going to, if you like following from the last video, we can head over to our data tab and we're gonna add another filter. So we're gonna add a filter of percent scrolled equals 10. So here we're gonna include where percent scrolled is then equal to 10. Make sure you have a good naming convention. I percent scrolled equals 10. Hit save on that. And now we should just see that row, boom. That's what we're looking for. So now what we wanna do is we wanna head up over here to resources and manage our filters. And here I'm just gonna duplicate this really quickly and we're gonna make five of these. So now we're gonna head up in here to edit this. We're gonna change this to 25, change this to 25 and rename our good old uh, thing to 25, boom. All right, hit save on that. And now we're gonna um, do that once more. But first, so now we've got this right here. We are then gonna have another table right here so we can see what we're doing, right? I always like to add a table just so we know exactly what we are doing. Let's add in our 25% scroll. So now we just have this one. So what we can actually do here is we can actually blend these together. So I'm gonna right click here, hit blend data. What's gonna happen is we're gonna create a new data source and we're gonna edit that data source. So here you can see we've got event name, percent scrolled, all that jazz. We don't need event name, we don't care. We don't even need percent scrolled, we don't care. All we wanna see is the event count of the scroll and the 10. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add here event count, we're gonna have sessions, and we're also gonna add users because we never know what type of information that we're gonna look for. 
And I'll do the same thing here where we have sessions and we're gonna add also total users. And so right now we are looking at a, a the type of join, right? We did have a left join, that's what it defaulted to. And what I'm gonna actually change it to is a left join, but we're gonna actually change it to a cross join, which is gonna return every possible option. And I'll show you what that looks like. So now what we have in our new data source, so I'm gonna name it scroll depth, it should look something like that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and so here we go. And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the sessions and the sessions as metrics. Do, 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 do. All right, so here we're gonna add sessions and sessions, all right, from table one and table two, get rid of all of our dimensions and we'll just see what this looks like. I'm gonna take it sweet time because we're recording. And what I'm gonna do is just hit refresh just because sometimes things like to take their time, but they don't need to. All right, so here we have two different sessions. Let's go back in here and change that style back to a number. And here you'll see the problem is we have two separate tables with that filter on that are the same. So the reason why that is, is because we have no way of tying these together. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna actually add in a page URL. So here we're gonna have, we have all of our filters already set for 10%, it's working. We're gonna get rid of percent scrolled and we're gonna get rid of event name. What we're gonna do is then add in the full page URL. So now we can see here how many people scrolled, for example, 10% on every single one of these pages. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing with our other data source. We have the page, and we have the event count. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just duplicate this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this 10% scrolled. And then we're gonna call this 25% scrolled. So now what you can see here is I hopefully you see where we're moving towards is we're then going to change this to our 25% scrolled. And now you'll see kind of what that looks like. Boom, we got 10% scrolled here, we'll have 25% scrolled down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly come in here and change all of our filters. So I'm going to go in here, we can see here that we've got all these different ones. I'm going to hit edit on this, we're going to say include where it's 50. And here we want 50 as well. We're gonna then do that several times. So here we go, just showing you in real time what this will look like for you if you were to copy my setup. All right, so here at this, we're gonna then go 75 equal to 75, hit save. Come up back up here, manage, manage resources, filters, and for the last time, hit 90. All right, so now we have our filters set. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly run in here. So we've got 10, we've got 25% here. And we're gonna make these little chonky boys a little nice and thin. I'm gonna duplicate this, add in our 50% scroll, right? That's what we wanna do here. And 50% scroll then allows us to rename this. I can, again, lots of labor when you're blending multiple things here, but we wanna make sure we do it right on the, the first try. And here we're gonna have 75% scroll. And add a filter down here. And we're gonna go to 90% scroll. Come down here, bada bing, 
Bada boom, we are off to the races. Okay, so now let's unselect this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select each and every one of these starting with 10%, moving our ways down. So click, shift, hold shift, hold shift, hold shift. We got all five selected, right click, and we are gonna hit blend. This is gonna try its best to join, and I think it has done, did it right. So here we have a left joined, right, with a 10%, so then the next one is joined to that one, joined to that one, joined to that one, etc. So now we have our beautiful blended data source, which I'm gonna delete these old ones because we don't need them, and I'm gonna create a new page, just so that for the sake of our example here. So let's just duplicate this, head over here into our new version, Filters 2.0, and we're gonna get rid of all of our other versions here. All right, so here you go. Here you can see exactly what we're looking at. And now you can see what we are dealing with. Each and every single one of these is its own unique filtered data source that is has a filter at every single level. So now if we head over here to our data tab, go back up here, click on our edits, what you'll see is that the metric name actually carries over if you do it that way. And you can see our filters down here. So the filters allow you to really, really drill into a specific behavior if you're in GA4 or even layer on another level of um, filter ability if you're using with not that. I'm gonna change this to our scroll depth report. Hit save, close this out, and now what you have is the ability to add a different type of um, chart. So we can use, for example, the do, 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 funnel report by Power My Analytics, which we can come in here, put this in, grab 10. Now we can grab 25, 50, 75, and 90%. And what do you know, we now have this. We can then filter it by, for example, what we're looking for. So say, for example, I wanted to add a control in. And we want to just look at our about page. Now you can see that this is gonna filter and you can see exactly the scroll depth for that individual page because we are joining on that actual page URL and it's Google Analytics 4. So, I hope that this made some sense to you. Again, just to recap, we are looking at this. We have the data sources. We've got our filters. We've left joined, showed you some how to break it. And now you can get off to the races. So if that was at all helpful, please like and subscribe. Please let me know if you have any other uh, example tutorials you would like to see with blending. Super, super powerful. Um, this is exactly one way of using it of the millions of ways possible. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. My name is JJ. I'll see you.